Okay, gang. Several days ago, maybe a little over a week, maybe a little more than a week, I posted several videos pertaining to a lot of diecast cars that I had from the 70s. They were not, well, the videos weren't that great. I, I'm not a cameraman, far from it. But I enjoyed doing the videos. And, you know, most of those cars were played with condition. Some of them were in really good shape. Uh, my logic is, and I, I, I will stand behind this, is that if the cars were scraped up and beat up, they were the favorite cars. Cars that were in better shape were either the duplicated cars that didn't get played with much or cars that really wasn't a favorite at that time. But let's get to this. The yellow crew cab Volkswagen. Now in the, in the video it was in, I mistakenly called it a Husky. And in that video, if I'm not mistaken, you can go back and look and it says Siku on the wheel. <laughs> I knew it was a Siku because I went after and bought this in the 90s. The reason why I got it in the 90s is that let me back up to when I was a lot younger in 84, 85 time frame I was at the the mall and we went into the toy store and I was checking out like the train stuff and hot wheel cars and all and this truck was hanging beside the hot wheel cars now I don't recall what the cost was but I didn't buy it because of the cost it was a little higher priced than a Hot Wheel. I want to say a lot more higher priced than a Hot Wheel. But what I remembered was the card it was it was sold on was a blue background, and that's about, about all I can really remember about the packaging. But again, like I said, I didn't buy it. So I, if I had to put a range where I bought when I bought this, it was probably. 93 95 time frame uh, got it off of eBay I was just wanting one of these trucks just to have because I always thought it was cool and I regretted never buying it so shopping on eBay I always tried like most people to get the better deal that's how I ended up with two now I don't recall what I paid for them I really want to say they may have came out of Canada but again I'm not 100% sure I just looked at it like the, the better price was for this set and this one was basically a bonus which I really wasn't going after but it's cool nonetheless and we'll separate these two and I'll show you both of them in detail alright I just stuck in the, the shot a matchbox Volkswagen pickup now they had two versions of this Volkswagen pickup and I've got both of them. One of them's got gear in the bed and the other one does not. Uh, I'm not a Volkswagen freak but I do like them. Uh, if I had my choice of what I would own it would be an early 70's panel van because you know that's the ones I remember most of all. A uh, fastback, a notchback, a station wagon from the 70's or another Volkswagen thing. And I shouldn't say another. I never owned one. My dad bought one for 35 bucks with a blown engine and we we rebuilt the engine. Man, that thing was a blast. They should have never banned those things from being shipped to America. They were awesome. All right. We're looking at the roadside. And basically and it, and this is a left-hand drive version. So it's on you know Leslie Lesney's had right-hand drive in most of their Volkswagens uh, diecast cars in the 70s and 60s. Figure that out because it came from England. Their right-hand drive over there. This has both of the lights still attached and it came with the original cover on the back. Basically it's just a hard plastic cover um, and it's removable. I'll show you, I'll take it off in a bit and let you see all right, there's the curbside. Same as the roadside. I mean, it's got pretty good details. You got door handles. You got the 
definition where the panel side the side panels will actually fold down I mean they don't actually fold down but you see how uh, on the real trucks how they got that hinge area right here and it's it's uh, very visible on this truck all right on the back you see it's got the caution stripes on each corner and you see on the the, the canvas top the hard plastic canvas top uh, the back panel is rolled open now I think this is going to come out okay but you can see the ribs of the framework under the canvas they're molded in as well that's a pretty nice detail all right, that's about the best thing I can get and it is coming up on my lens so I'm hoping that you can see it but it actually has ripples in the canvas and this is the side that butts up against the back of the cab now the bed is a deep bed I shouldn't say deep bed if you ever, ever have seen in person a Volkswagen truck like this because of the engine it's not a deep bed it's a flat platform that's why you have these sides on it the tailgate and the two sides there should be toolboxes on I think on both sides but I can't recall I'm not a Volkswagen expert but I believe that's how they were okay now we're going to talk about the second van that came in this lot TV detector van Siku van as well when I got this set like I said I was just going after the orange truck not the TV detector van it is cool, it's a van again, panel van. I'd prefer panel vans over any other van. But I was kind of confused about TV detector van. Fortunately, there was a guy I used to work with that got transferred from England to Athens, Georgia. And ironically, he was talking about when he got here, he went to buy a TV, but he didn't know where to get his license or permit. And it baffled everyone because apparently in some European countries you buy your TV but you also have to have to pay a permit I'm not sure if you still have to pay the permit but at this time you had to pay the permit to be able to watch your TV and what they would do they had vans that would run through neighborhoods and if they picked up a TV signal in your house and you don't have a pay if you hadn't paid for a license you get fined I don't know what the fines were I don't know penalties or anything so if it's like the US government it's probably pretty high now there's a lot of details and a lot of quality uh, a lot of quality put into these vehicles but I'm not really excited about the back gate it doesn't lift all the way up and it sits in there just a little gapped it's closer to this side than it is on this side now part of me wants to see if I can take in uh, like a rubber mallet and a cloth and maybe pop that side in a little bit to close that gap but I'm not going to do it no, I don't want to take a chance of ruining it okay there's a shot with a gate open like I said that's as high as it goes uh, but you can see it does have a license plate a hitch and there's your tail lights alright again I'm not an expert on die cast cars never will I claim to be one and if you collect die cast cars and you'd never have looked into the uh, Siku, about said Husky again, Huskies are great too, but if you've never looked into the Siku line, you might want to take a peek at them. Uh, they're very well made, great detail. Of course, I don't under, I don't know anything how to price them. I, I, like I said, I bought these years ago because I wanted this one that I should have bought in the 80s and never did all right gang that's it for this video I was trying to make it five minutes or less and it's already over nine thanks for viewing any comments are greatly appreciated have a great day and details about the TV de detector vans I would love to hear confirmations about what I think I know have a great one